Nine ways to treat diabetic neuropathy holistically. Today we are talking about neuropathy. You showed a great interest in diabetic neuropathy symptoms video we did a while back, and today I'm talking about how to treat diabetic neuropathy naturally. Don't worry, I'm not a naturalist or a herbalist, I'm actually a physician trained conventionally, but have great interest in what nature provides to heal us as well. In my daily practice, I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes specialist, and a diabetes educator. Today we will cover a lot of things. Each and every one is important, and it could be the missing piece in your neuropathy treatment. I strongly advise you to patiently watch the entire video to maximize your benefit. Remember, knowing a little can be more dangerous than knowing nothing. Also, make sure you put your comments and questions below so we can all learn from each other. Just follow the community guidelines and be respectful to each other. I love seeing your comments and I actually learn a lot from them too. Let's get started before further ado. Peripheral neuropathy is a disorder that affects your extremities and produces weakness, discomfort, numbness, and most of the time that happens on your hands and feet. I hear that complaint in my diabetes clinic pretty much every day, super often, because diabetic neuropathy can even start at the pre-diabetes stage. So your body and your extremities receive messages from your brain and spinal cord via the peripheral nerves. These messages are disrupted when those nerves are injured due to what we call oxidative stress and inflammation which could be due to diabetes and some other conditions like alcohol, infection, trauma, or autoimmune damage. This will affect how your body responds to pain, the temperature, and other reactions. So, why would you care about neuropathy treatment or even prevention? Well, peripheral neuropathy symptoms might appear pretty sudden, sometimes gradual, over time. It can be very sneaky until it's not. Today's topic, it will be about natural diabetic neuropathy treatments and prevention strategies. So, treatment options differ based on the underlying cause of the problem. Many conventional medical approaches are aimed at reducing pain. Like your doctor may give you gabapentin or Neurontin, Lyrica, etc. But what I want you to know today is that Treating the fundamental cause or the root cause of neuropathy, which is oxidative damage to your nerve cells as a result of diabetes, is just as important as treating the pain, because pain is the end result. So, natural remedies can also help the pain while protecting your nerves from further damage. There are different types of nerves, if you remember from my last video on this channel. You have motor nerves that help you move, sensory nerves which help you sense, like the sense of temperature or pain, and autonomic nerves which regulates your autonomous function that happens, you like it or not, just like peeing or pooping or sweating, right? You may experience tingling, you may experience numbness, sensitivity to touch, decreased sensation, inability to feel the temperature changes, or even you may not feel the pain with hot or cold if your peripheral neuropathy is already there. That generally happens when your sensory nerves are affected. You may also experience loss of reflexes and coordination if your peripheral neuropathy affects your sensory nerves as well. Well, if the nerves of the autonomic nervous system is affected, you may experience symptoms such as nausea, vomiting, we sometimes call this gastroparesis, dizziness, while standing or changing positions from sitting or standing, excessive sweating, inability to control bowel or bladder functions, irregular heart rate, difficulty swallowing, etc. are dysfunctions of autonomic nervous system that can still be due to peripheral neuropathy. Now let's talk about the nine natural treatments. Well, number one, it's not a surprise. It's controlling your blood sugars, right? Glucose management is the best technique that has been found to prevent and postpone the development as well as to slow down the onset of neuropathy in type 2 diabetic patients, even type 1 too. So this channel is all about helping you understand how you control your blood sugar better, so please watch our videos. Also remember, 
both high and low blood sugar affects your nerves. So your A1C may be at 6%, but you may still suffer from neuropathy because your blood sugar can still be going anywhere from 50 to 150 or like 2.1 to 11 millimole, etc. So you can see the white fluctuations in your numbers, it will still affect your nerves. So keeping the numbers at a very stable level is your best friend. Number two, improve your defense against the damage. Now, sometimes no matter what you do, your body will still produce free radicals. And in the setting of diabetes, it is harder to clean up that damage. You will need that extra help to defend against that nerve damage we call oxidative damage, right? So what is that oxidative damage anyways, you will be asking? Well, a free radical causes oxidative damage. It's a molecule that has an unpaired electron on it, on its atoms. It is because of the presence of that unpaired electron that most free radicals have some of the same properties. So when a free radical is on the run, it needs an electron and an antioxidant that give that molecule the electron, neutralizing it, making it less likely to damage. These antioxidants slow down and stop cell damage mostly because they can get rid of these free radicals. Normally, there is a good balance between the free radicals and antioxidants for the body to work properly. Well, people who are under oxidative stress, which means that they have too many free radicals in their bodies, can have a lot of health issues, and one of them would be diabetic neuropathy. Well, free radicals may overwhelm that antioxidant protection and can damage the nerve cells and DNA in them. As a result, applying antioxidants from an outside source can help deal with that oxidative stress. You definitely will need certain antioxidant protectors on your side. For example, alpha-lipoic acid, benfotiamine, L-carnitine, B12, B6 vitamins, even vitamin D. I will go over the data with you, but I want to show you something you all have been waiting for. Sugar MD neuropathy support. It's not available, and yes, it has all of that antioxidants I have just talked about. Let's start with alpha-lipoic acid. Alpha-lipoic acid boosts the nerve antioxidant defense. How does it do that? Well, antioxidant alpha-lipoic acid is actually produced by the body. It is present in every cell and aids in the conversion of glucose to energy. Not a surprise, right? As we previously discussed, antioxidant combat the free radicals, which are byproducts of the body's conversion of the food to energy, which happens to be a huge mess when it comes to become a diabetic. Diabetic people tend to create a lot of these free radicals, and their body does not produce enough antioxidants. Free radicals can induce hazardous chemical reactions, especially when blood sugar levels are high. Well, flavonoids, tannins, and phenols are some of the other naturally occurring antioxidants, just like the alpha-lipoic acid, and you know where to find them, your vegetables and fruits. The finest sources are basically plant-based foods, your vegetables and fruits, whole grains, nuts, seeds, herbs, and spices. Even cocoa, right? The dark chocolate, for example, would be a good one for that purpose. But amount in the foods may not be enough to help when you need that extra defense. Then the supplements come handy, right? So 300 milligram of alpha-lipoic acid in our sugar MD neuropathy support formula is plenty to get your supplementation. How about benfotiamine? Most of you have heard about that as well. How does benfotiamine help diabetics. Let's talk about that. Benfotiamine, which is a B1 vitamin, it can boost the key enzyme in glucose metabolism. We call that transketolase. By doing so, it reduces the accumulation of toxic glucose metabolites that may actually harm the nerves. It also helps protect the endothelial cells from glucose-induced damage and repair that endothelial damage, which is the vascular wall, caused by the high blood sugars. Let's elaborate on that a little bit more. There are a lot of enzymes that need B1 vitamin, which is your thiamine, in order for them to work properly. It helps with a lot of things, like glucose metabolism inside the cells, and it also helps with neuronal and neuromuscular transmission. People who do not get enough thiamine have problems getting it into their bodies for many other reasons. They have serious problems. 
Thiamine is a coenzyme for transcatalase and pyruvate dehydrogenase, which are enzymes that play a huge part when it comes to how glucose is handled and used in the body. In particular, transcatalase help reduce the buildup of toxic glucose metabolites that can harm the nerves, protecting the endothelial cells, which is your vascular wall, from glucose-induced damage. And it can not only help your neuropathy, but also the retinopathy, which is your diabetic eye disease, by correcting that endothelial damage. So, thiamine is extremely important. Now, diabetes may be a thiamine deficient state, even if it is not in absolute terms, it is because Glucose metabolism in non-insulin dependent tissues like the vessel wall, for example, is so much faster and amplified that it increases the need for thiamine. So why did we use benfotiamine instead of thiamine in our supplement? Well, because benfotiamine is a fat soluble and appears to have higher bioavailability and better absorption by the body than the thiamine and it's more available for nerve cells as well. Next important naturally occurring micronutrient every nerve deserves is acetyl l-carnitine acetyl l-carnitine also supports the brain's natural defenses against nerve damage memory loss and cognitive decline which happens to be common in diabetes l-carnitine is essential for the conversion of long chain fatty acids into energy it also boosts the activity of particular nerve cells in the brain and the spinal cord acetyl l-carnitine has been also found to protect the nerves from the injury that's why L-carnitine is included in our SugarMD neuropathy supplement as well. What about the B vitamins in general? The myelin sheet that surrounds and protects the nerves is damaged by the deficiency of B12. The nerves that aren't protected stop working properly at least, resulting in disorders like peripheral neuropathy. Even a mild B12 shortage can damage the neurological system and the brain's ability to function properly. Patients who take metformin, for example, is at high risk of B12 deficiency because metformin blocks the absorption of B12 to a great degree. Vitamin B6, on the other hand, is known for assisting the, in the maintenance of the protective covering of the body's nerve endings. And finally, vitamin D has neuroprotective effects that are linked to its effects on avoidance of oxidative nerve injury in a variety of ways. So these are everything we use in our supplement to help you to improve the neuropathy. What else can potentially help you for your neuropathy? Let's talk about a few other things as well. Well, cyan pepper contains capsaicin and it's a fiery chemical compound in hot peppers actually, but it is known for its pain relieving qualities. It's been used in topical treatments as well. So you can actually ask a prescription from your doctor uh, when it comes to that, if you wanna put a hot pepper on your, on your legs, uh, which happens to be working sometimes. It reduces the amount of pain sensations supplied to the brain by you know, basically you know, deceiving your brain where the pain is coming from. Neuropathy pain can be reduced by including the cyan pepper in your diet if you don't wanna rub it on your skin, or sometimes taking a capsaicin pill as well. Well, capsaicin ointments for the body are also widely available, even over the counter. Although it may cause a burning feeling at first, consistent use will progressively diminish the neuropathy symptoms. To avoid the unpleasant side effects, I would suggest talking to your doctor if you are willing to take that path. Number four is working out. Now, how's that gonna work? Exercise on a regular basis can help you manage the discomfort and improve your overall health. So basically when you are physically active and take endurance exercises, your body's pain threshold goes higher. Also being physically active can help you lower your blood sugar levels, which is number one thing that we discussed to help prevent or slow the nerve damage. But also exercise improves the blood flow to your arms and legs, which is your, where your nerves are, right? Most, most of your nerves that are causing the pain, but also exercise helps with lowering the stress levels. And all of these contribute to the reduction of the discomfort and pain. Well, number five on my list is taking a warm bath. Not a hot one, I said warm. Taking a warm bath can be relaxing and it can also help with the neuropathy pain symptoms actually. The warm water improves the blood circulation throughout the body, reducing the numbness or pain symptoms. If you have peripheral neuropathy and aren't as sensitive to temperature, you have to be really careful about how hot that water is, okay? Number six, give up smoking. Smoking has a negative impact on your blood circulation, you know that. 
the less oxygenated blood can pass through those narrowed blood arteries, and peripheral neuropathy can become a greater burden, and numbness can get worse, and pain can get worse if the circulation is not properly maintained. Smoking cessation can assist in alleviating your symptoms in that way. Let this fact sink in and inspire you to make some positive changes if you have not already done so. Number seven, aromatherapy oils. Some essential oils such as chamomile or Roman lavender might actually help the circulation. They also have anti-inflammatory and pain relieving qualities, which may help with healing as well. Essential oils should be diluted. So like a few drops with one ounce of uh, carrier oil, like oil of oil, the stinging and the tingling symptoms associated with peripheral neuropathy might be alleviated by applying these diluted oils to the affected area. Number eight, meditation. Well, that sounds like an interesting one, right? It can potentially actually help the neuropathy symptoms by learning to cope with, especially if the problem is severe and if nothing seems to be helping. It can aid in the reduction of stress and improvement of coping abilities. And the reduction of pain intensity overall can go down. And an non-invasive treatment that gives you more control over your condition that you can call this maybe mind and body approach. It may or may not work, but it's worth a try. Number nine is acupuncture. Acupuncture stimulates the body's pressure points. You know, China has used this for centuries, right? It promotes natural healing. This method causes the nervous system to release substances that alter the pain perception and the pain threshold. Acupuncture aids in the body's energy balance, which might also have an impact on your emotional well-being as well. But remember, everyone remember this, treatment is far less effective than prevention, just like pretty much any other disease. Maintaining your blood sugar regular at a fairly good levels, taking benfetamine, alpha lipoic acid, L-carnitine, B-complex vitamins, your old vitamins and minerals from vegetables and fruits and supplements will help you. Even if you don't have the neuropathy right now, it will help you prevent those problems. So you don't have to do acupuncture, this and that down the road, or taking this high risk pain medications like Lyrica and Neurontin and so forth. Remember to pay attention to your symptoms. Consider our neuropathy support supplement. The link will be in the description below. And remember all the natural approaches we discussed today when dealing with your neuropathy. I hope you learned something new today. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and write something in the comment section below. Thank you very much. Feel better. See you later.